Hi guys, it's Igor and today we are talking about 2019 Toyota RAV4. New generation Toyota RAV4 is a completely different car compared to previous generation. First of all, they build this car on different platform, which they share right now with Toyota Camry and Toyota Avalon, which is much bigger car compared to previous uh, platform which they share with Toyota Corolla. And because right now Toyota RAV4 share his platform with Toyota Camry, that means that Toyota RAV4 right now is more comfortable. With it. First of all, because it's a longer wheelbase. But in the same time, it's a little bit shorter compared to previous generation. But for your information, wheelbase are now bigger on 1.2 inches compared to old generation. Also, Toyota received new engine with 203 horsepower, which is pretty big number compared to other vehicle in this class. But right now we have a Jeep Cherokee with 270 horsepower and the Mazda uh, CX-5 with turbocharged engine. And right now this engine can push Toyota RAV4 from 0 to 60 for 8 seconds. But funny situation with acceleration, less powerful Honda CRV can do from 0 to 60 for 7.6 seconds. The cheapest Toyota RAV4 you can buy for around $27,000. But most expensive one Toyota RAV4 Prime could cost you more than 42. But for Toyota RAV4 Prime you could expect around 7 half thousand of dollars re reduction from your government. Also, you can choose two different all-wheel drive systems on Toyota RAV4. Most expensive version as Toyota RAV4 Adventure and the Limited already equipped with the most expensive all-wheel drive system. But for this one, you can choose this for additional money. We have over here middle version. It's Toyota RAV4 XLE, but with some additional features. What's the difference between two all-wheel drive systems? One of them is regular all-wheel drive system, but another one is more advanced. It's something like Honda's or Acura's all-wheel drive system, which they call SH all-wheel drive, and on Toyota RAV4 it looks similar. This all-wheel drive system lets you send more torque on the outer rear tire during the turn, and that's why this car is more stable during the hard turn. More advanced all-wheel drive system also can mechanically disconnect rear axle, and in this case you can save more money on the gas. Right now, even in the base version, Toyota RAV4 is equipped with LED headlight. But I would say it's not so bright as you expect, but definitely look better outside. But very nice features, because right now Toyota RAV4 has automatic high beams. RAV4 has three different tire size, and smallest one is 17 inch, and two different ones for adventures, they usually set up 18 inch rims for most expensive Toyota Prime or Toyota Limited 19 inch. But my opinion that uh, with 17 inch the car looks a little bit ugly. If you're gonna read any articles in internet about uh, SUV in this class, you will find out that any any uh, car reviewer or car magazine reporter tells that Mazda CX-5 is most uh, sporty SUV in this class. And they tell that the uh, Toyota RAV4 is okay. But weird situation, guys. If you're gonna check data from the same magazine, you will find out that, for example, later acceleration for Toyota RAV4 much better compared to Mazda CX-5. And Mazda CX-5 has worse in this class, which is means that, yes, Mazda drive fast, feels fast, but holds the road much worse compared to any other. And I believe in extreme situation, you will wish to be inside the Toyota RAV4. And numbers for later acceleration, for example, for Toyota 0.8, for uh, Honda CRV 0.83, but for Mazda CX-5 just 0.79. Funny thing about Toyota RAV4 right now, it's one of the fastest Toyota on the market. Combined number from both engines on Toyota RAV4 Prime is 302 horsepower, which is led to accelerate to this car from 0 to 60 for 5.4 seconds. Only one Toyota is faster right now, which is Toyota Supra. Toyota Supra can make from 0 to 60 4.7 seconds, but from 30 miles to 60 miles, Toyota RAV4 is faster. If you ask my opinion about design of Toyota RAV4, I would say I don't like it. I don't like it, why? Because it's too much plastic, and especially in this color. I think only one pretty Toyota RAV4 right now on the market is Toyota RAV4 in a white color. Even with one of the biggest brake uh, rotors in the class, Toyota RAV4 doesn't let you stop very fast. The stop distance from 60 to 0 on Toyota RAV4 is uh, 125 feet. If you're gonna choose most powerful and most advanced Toyota RAV4 Prime, it could be even 195. For example, Honda CRV in the same class could stop from 60 to 0 in 117. If you will choose Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium and more advanced version, you can get 
power tailgate. On car and car, it's for additional money. For Prime and Limited, you can get leg activated tailgate. Toyota RAV4 has two uh, handles on the trunk, which is very nice. And even if you forget to press the button on the trunk, you can move a little bit and then it closed by itself. Some car reviewer was laughing on one feature of this car, which is a adjustable uh, uh, noise from or sound from tailgate. But I think it's very, very nice features. Because if you have a baby in your car, sometimes this noise from tailgate uh, can walk him up and he's gonna cry. Toyota tried to get you as a customer with a lot of safety features. Even in a standard LE version, you can get like line assistant, you can get like active cruise control for more money you can add a blind spot monitors which you can receive with more advanced version but for example for this one xle they paid additional for blind spot monitors for active cruise control also you can get automatic high beams automatic emergency brake system and most of these features standard in this car you have electric power emergency brake and nice features is hold button how you're gonna use it you just press it during for example uh, high uh, traffic and you can stand without pressing brake by your legs. Toyota tried to tell that new generation of Toyota RAV4 right now it's more off-road vehicle and you see how many settings they have. They have snow, they have mud, rock, dirt and uh, three different settings for transmission and for steering wheel. But I wish if they can separate settings for steering wheel and for transmission because steering wheel I would say nice when it's in a sport position but transmission nice when it's in a normal. In LE version, you can get only manual operated uh, one zone climate control, but for XLE and up, you can get double zone climate control. And what I really like about uh, this climate control and also for your radio and stereo system is because they put this very nice to touch rubber pieces. Somebody thinks that it's funny, but it's really nice to operate. Also, maybe it's not the most comfortable buttons on the dashboard, but definitely some different design without all this like I would say horrible touch screen and touch buttons. You see, they very tiny and look, remind me old style stereo system. For base version, you can get only seven inch uh, screen on the dashboard for more advanced as this one, eight inch. For hybrid, you can get as a standard nine inch uh, uh, screen, but if you get Toyota RAV4 Prime, it's gonna be 10 inch. I think it's the best seat which Toyota ever get. Uh, I mean new style of Toyota seats. Uh, I would say it's a little bit wide, but if you get fabric interior as this one, it's not so bad. But I believe if it's gonna be leather, it's gonna be a little bit uh, wide for me. The seats have very nice uh, headrest. Right now it's very close to your head. And I think in this case, it's gonna be more safer. Somebody thinks that interior looks too cheap. Somebody thinks it's good. I would say it's normal. It's definitely more closer right now to German's brand. Only one bad thing because right now, they don't put any rubber in a cup holder or over here, for example, for your cell phone. Actually, if you're going to choose more advanced version, you can get a wireless charger. But because of this plastic, it's going to be noisy. All your coins or your lighters, cell phones are going to fly over here. What really surprised me also with Toyota RAV4 interior is that how small amount of adjustment for your seat. I mean, like with my height, I think that's it. If you're going to be higher than me, more than 6.1 you're not going to be comfortable on the seats i would say i don't even feel myself really comfortable for example also adjustment for steering column it's maybe it's big but maybe they put some this steering wheel in the wrong position because i really wish to put a little bit more on myself but again it's it's final nothing more funny thing about toyotas and i would say in general japanese brand plastic for example some things that uh, plastic is cheap on toyota or any other vehicle uh, from japan japan but guys yes german's plastic or european plastic looks better it's nice to touch but guys if you work as a mechanic you will find out that <laughs> sometimes this german's plastic very hard to put it back for example if you're going to remove even this flimsy the like center console on the toyota rav4 i will guarantee that you're going to put it back with a bmw or for example with some audi I would say sometimes it's not gonna happen with all clips. And right now I will provide you how looks plastic on BMW with some H and I would say on any other European brand. Nice because right now Toyota has all automatic windows as on normal German's brand, but very bad because they put light only on driver position window switch and it's hard to figure out during the night time what you're gonna press. Nice to see this again on a cheap vehicle. This 
the possibility to extend your sun visor. Even standard versions on Toyota RAV4 right now has Apple Play and uh, Android Play. Sitting behind myself and my height is 6.1 and you see I have around one and a half inch between my knees and the front seat and the uh, legroom right now on the back seat equivalent to 37.8 inch but Honda CRV has 3 inch more and uh, also nice thing that central console is almost flat on Toyota RAV4 but Honda CRV doesn't have it tall and I would say on the middle seat you can put somebody very small or only for example car seat RAV4 equipped with uh, 5 uh, USB ports, two, 2 of them on the back two of them inside that central uh, armrest and one of them on the front and nice because four of them is 2.1 ampere which allow you to charge your phone much faster nice white uh, central armrest on the back seat but bad because it's also from the same hard plastic you see the price cut on Toyota right now they have pocket only behind the front passenger seat nothing over here but I would say no matter where even in airplane I always try to remove all this uh, advertisement and magazine in airplane seats and I believe if I gonna have a car like this I will do the same rear seat is adjustable but to be honest it's very uncomfortable because you can adjust this only with a handle for folding seats too early to tell something about reliability of this engine is too new and to be honest we don't have them many we just have them for oil change but from my expectation what I see first of all I think it's gonna be easy to repair I see much more space right now because cars get a little bit bigger they move some so parts out from the uh, for under the hood for example no more windshield washers there were in the engine compartment they move it and the air filter gets smaller and nice because right now they have regular clips which i wish any car would get right now it's easy to do by yourself but biggest difference for this vehicle right now because they have eight fuel injectors and four of them on the top and four of them on the bottom to be honest they very reliable was before on Toyota and it's gonna be a little bit headache to replace bottom of them but I hope it's never happened because to be honest I don't remember many Toyotas where I did it fuel injectors and I hope this one's gonna be the same valve cover also right now as on a German car from plastic which is nice because it's lighter but <laughs> we'll see how it get through the hot temperature nice because Toyota right now start to put more hard steel for body construction even if you cannot reach something from under the hood you can remove your uh, fender liner and do this from fender niche a lot of Russian reviewers complain and actually Russian customer of Toyota that they didn't put any seal over here on the upper mountain for your struts if for example if you go on through the rain or through the some dirt they spray water from the underneath of the car through these holes on whole engine compartment Toyota at least can put something under the hood it looks very cheap and it's aluminum hood it's not gonna reduce your noise like by any chance okay we under 2019 Toyota RAV4 and what can we see over here we see really good job from Toyota because they start to put all mud shield under whole car they build this from plastic and you see they cover whole bottom of the car that's really increase your anti-rust coating and increase your aerodynamic I would say reduce your aerodynamic but you see nothing is under engine but it's all because we remove this Part to show you what's going on under the hood first time I see the same problem on brand new Toyota as on a Honda leak from rear main seal probably it's during installation but I hope it's gonna stop soon cartridge steel from steel but on transmission which is right now 8-speed automatic from ICIN you see they start to look like a European car they put plastic oil pan I don't know if it's good or no at least it's not gonna be rusty but I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same strong but in general transmission of this car is very nice I would say it's much less nervous compared to Jeep Cherokee with 2.4 liter engine and in general I like how it works if you compare this mud shield with a German car what we can find out what's the difference because Toyota used hard plastic which is good for durability but bad for noise insulation but on German cars most of the time you can see holes 
in this anti-rust protection cover and matchel because oil going from each place in German's car and usually this oil make a hole in all this anti-rust coating, anti-rust protection shields. And now we do rear rotor refacing on this car and we clean the rust on the front one because Toyota refused to do this by warranty. This car has only 5,000 miles and the car was parked for a couple months during the quarantine, but they decided that they don't have to do this by warranty, I mean Toyota, and they asked for this 500 bucks just to replace rotors. To re replace these rotors, they ask $900. I believe our price would be around 300. Brake rotors on Toyota RAV4, one of the biggest one in the class, but doesn't matter, they do not provide you great braking on a Toyota RAV4. The braking distance on Toyota RAV4, one of the worst, I would say worst in this class is 125 feet from 60 miles. The numbers of uh, diameter for rear brake rotors 11.1 inches, front one is 12. For example, on Honda, rear one is just 10, and Honda CRV has much better brake distance, it's uh, the smallest one compared to any other vehicle on this class. Only biggest one brake rotors on uh, Jeep Cherokee. They have 13 uh, inches on the front and on the back. Toyota has McPherson suspension on the front and you see it's still the same Toyota with the same bad quality of uh, uh, paint on strut and usually what I told you in any uh, our other reviews that sometimes you can get hole in one of the strut and it start to leak. But in the same time you don't have with Toyota the same problem as with German car when your spring is get cracked. On Toyota they usually still alive whole, whole life of the vehicle but uh, normal life for Shocks is around 120,000 miles. Most of the undercarriage part on Toyota RAV4 is steel, but they also look like start to reduce weight and start to install aluminum parts over here on suspension. I really like how Toyota RAV4 looks under the knees because right now it's much bigger amount of space. First of all, I believe because they put a little bit thinner subframe under the engine and also because they right now use electric uh, pump for steering and you see even this uh, motor for this electric pump it's very easy to access and easy to replace and right now if somebody see before how Toyota looks under the knees no more power steering line and everything much easier to reach also they move engine on the front and even back of the engine are now easy to access and it's hard to show this with the camera but you see how much space right now behind the engine. Rear oxygen sensor, which is usually very expensive with Toyota, at least $140, very easy to access. This over here behind the catalytic converter, the terminal to connect, also easy to reach, the same easy to reach front one. New generation of Toyota RAV4, it's more quiet car compared to older generation, but it's not because they start to put more noise insulation. They don't do anything with noise insulation. Only one noise insulation, piece which you can find it on Toyota RAV4 if you're going to replace whole interior it's going to be small piece on the floor of rear passenger and one piece like three by three inches behind this uh, rear license place to reduce vibration but probably they get more quieter because of this uh, plastic shield if it's going to be the same as on the German cars definitely would be quieter or at least like on a Ford Fusion is also the same like in the German car, but maybe because they switch the type of anti-rust coating. First of all, they really did the better job, not the great as a German car, but better job because they cover all welding spots. And you see right now it looks like foam and cover uh, underneath of the uh, wheel arch. And uh, also they you see cover with a soft mud shield under the front fenders and also soft mud shield under rear fenders. Rear fenders also soft, you see? And also what we can see, they also, they start to build cars as the Germans right now. Rear shock look right now exactly the same on BMW 3 Series with aluminum upper mount, but this upper mount located under interior parts and right now you're supposed to replace whole side wall inside the, uh, your trunk to reach these two bolts over here to unscrew the strut, which is, looks very easy, but on BMW it's just three minutes to do this. 
I believe on Toyota at least one and a half hour. Right now they start to put anti-rust coating even over here under the trunk and you see this foamy but they really try to sneak out and do like I really don't know how to tell this but it's a horrible job. They don't put any anti-rust coating be underneath of this uh, mud shield. Nothing. Really naked metal. Just uh, just insulation on a welding spot. Uh, let me show you. It's, yeah. Just insulation on welding spot. You see this black line? But nothing about any foamy anti-rust coating. Bad job, Toyota. Multi-link rear suspension on Toyota RAV4 right now. It looks a little bit more complicated than on previous generation, but right now Toyota finally has nice rear stabilizer bar and for me, it's even more wider compared to previous generation of Toyota Highlander. Right now it's 22 mm. If I could remember on Toyota Highlander previous generation just 14 mm. That's the reason why Toyota RAV4 has a little bit better handling right now. I just told in our previous review about Toyota Venza that Toyota has much better air conditioning system compared to Honda because Honda always has problem with the AC compressor but right now Toyota switch design and they do again like more European they don't have any more clutch on his uh, AC compressor actually this one is over here we just replaced the same one on, on Toyota Camry and then I have the same design like on a Volkswagen and what's happened so usually all these valves is BIME broken and this means that you're supposed to replace all this uh, valve or whole compressor and job to replace this whole compressor between $700 and $1,200. If you ask me what I think about the handling of Toyota RAV4 2019 I, I would say it's definitely better compared to previous generation but to be honest I hate talk this way when you told it's better than previous generation better than other Toyota it's supposed to be better compared to other vehicle in this class and uh, if you compare this week, uh, vehicle I mean Toyota RAV4 with other vehicle for example like Mazda CX-5 or Jeep Cherokee I would say some uh, spots is nice some is need to be improved for example noise insulation better compared to previous generation but still horrible but it's normal because most of the time I would say Toyota is more like city driver car and uh, nobody will complain about this and again it's not too bad compared to previous generation and if you check numbers of sales of this car you will understand that it's good enough to have at least this they have what to sell I mean Toyota about handling it's definitely better better compared to previous generation first of all I believe this is because they start to use more wider stabilizer bar and a little bit more complicated uh, rear suspension also what I wish if Toyota will do is his Toyota RAV4 and any other vehicle handling is nice especially steering wheel but uh, one bad thing I would say in some time it's even dangerous if you use this car in eco mode because when you turn, for example, uh, steering wheel on 15 degrees left or right, sometime if you use this vehicle with a uh, echo mode, you feel it get like empty, and then it's uh, fine again if you turn more. But if you use this vehicle with a uh, sport mode, everything is fine. That's I would say why I wish if Toyota put different uh, adjustment for steering and for suspension and transmission, the same as you see on the Ford Mustang. If you wanna adjust steering wheel it would be nice if it will be able to adjust uh, just separate from suspension and transmission in this case handling will be better i wish to have a steering wheel as in sports mode but suspension as a echo mode and the uh, transmission even with led headlight toyota rav4 has bad headlight as any other japanese vehicle it's nice that they look nicer because they're bright and look modern but uh, I would say on the same level as uh, his previous Halligan headlight. Comfort on the current generation RAV4 definitely better than the previous one. I cannot tell that it's better than on any other vehicle in the class. I would say it's on the same level, but it's good. And why it's better compared to previous generation? Because they build this car right now on more longer uh, frame, uh, I would say platform, which is they share with Toyota Camry. And right now, it's more comfortable because it reduces the noise from suspension because it's longer and I would say any vehicle if you extend the wheelbase would be more comfortable. The same story with Toyota RAV4. Brake is fine but one of the worst in the class. 
and uh, I would say I don't feel any problem with this brake but just this morning I jumped in BMW 2011 uh, BMW 528 and I understand the yeah it's a lot of to improve with Toyota it's just regular brakes as any other Toyota maybe even better than before uh, compare for example for, with old Camrys but still not the best one I like the ability of this car especially uh, side mirrors they're definitely much better compared to Toyota Venza which we recently reviewed without the small mirror on the angle of uh, mirror and they wider on up positions it's this really make his work like on a higher level I mean uh, mirrors and let you see in this mirror is much better all safety system on Toyota RAV4 works very nice it's not so annoying as on our reviewed Toyota Sienna 2018 and I really like how works the uh, line keeper system it's not so I'd say pushy as on Honda Ridgeline which we test it's nice and it's really nice they really ni did a good job with safety features it's good that right now Toyota has automatic uh, high beams I always love this feature with my 2011 Dodge Durango engine noise is definitely better compared to previous generation compared to especially Camry's with old generation engine but doesn't matter uh, Toyota's engine still I would say really like horrible to listen to them as a summary about Toyota RAV4 guys I, I believe Toyota is still the same reliable vehicle but maybe something will change for example I told you about uh, AC system right now it's not the same reliable they put this uh, uh, shield under the knees of the car which protect from the rust of this car but usually increase the temperature for the uh, for the engine and I believe maybe in the future new Toyotas will get more oil leak but we'll see this in the future right now it's too new to tell something but I hope it's going to be the same reliable but definitely this vehicle need to improve something thank you for watching us and don't forget to subscribe to our channel